Imagine journeying to Mars aboard the revolutionary Starship, an audacious dream ignited by SpaceX's extraordinary vision. Since man set foot on the moon in 1969, we have dreamed of returning to not only the lunar surface, but also of venturing to our neighboring planets. Yet, after half a century since that lunar expedition, our stellar aspirations seem to have dimmed. With the development of Starship, we are on the cusp of witnessing humans imprinting another planet for the first time ever. Let's explore the features that set Starship apart, making it our celestial ride to Mars. Let's investigate the life aboard the Starship during this several months long journey. What would it be like to live in this spaceship? And what can we anticipate on this daring voyage to the Red Planet? Elon Musk first presented his goal of enabling Mars colonization in 2001. In 2005, Elon Musk unveiled his grand vision for a powerful rocket that could transport massive payloads into orbit. Fast forward, following a decade of relentless development, Starship finally made its first orbital flight attempt on April 20, 2023. But bringing this vision to life wasn't easy. The Starship program cost over $2 billion, not including operational expenses. In order to transform the vision of Starship into a reality, SpaceX had to push the boundaries of current technologies. They spearheaded groundbreaking advancements in rocket propulsion and engineered formidable engines. A custom-developed stainless steel alloy forms the backbone of the Starship, marrying the dual qualities of lightness and strength making it robust enough to endure the rigors of space travel. Moreover, SpaceX is also meticulously devising a cutting-edge avionics system to withstand the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperatures and radiation. Starship, consisting of the spacecraft and super-heavy rocket, is a revolutionary reusable transportation system designed for interplanetary travel. It can ferry crew members and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. With a fully reusable payload capacity of 150 metric tons and an expandable payload capacity of 250 metric tons. To put the power of Starship into perspective, it surpasses the incredible thrust of NASA's space launch system, the Saturn V and the N1. Starship is set to become the most potent launch vehicle ever constructed. Elon Musk promises that Starship will transport thousands of people from Earth to Mars, with the journey lasting six to nine months. This poses challenges that we'll explore further as we go along in this video. But what's inside this incredible spacecraft? While SpaceX hasn't shown us the final interior design, we can only speculate on some preliminary ideas. How will the SpaceX Starship compare to the legendary Apollo rockets, which accomplished the goal of landing astronauts on the moon and returning them safely back to Earth? It appears that Starship will surpass its predecessors in terms of space, striking a harmonious balance between opulence and functionality. But what about the crew size? The final number is still unknown, but multiple reports state that it could be up to 100 people. Now, this is an important consideration for a couple of reasons. For starters, each crew member will require a lot of resources, including food, water, and room to stay alive and sane throughout the journey to Mars. Secondly, the crew's mental health and well-being during these lengthy missions will play an important part. The human body is an extraordinary and intricate system, adept at responding to profound environmental changes, particularly the absence of gravity. When an astronaut embarks on a space journey, such as a future Mars mission, their body will swiftly undergo a multitude of transformations, leading to subtle physical and perceptual alterations. Prolonged exposure to micro or zero gravity would result in significant loss of bone and muscle mass. Based on prior knowledge, it is well established that bones lose approximately 1% of their mass per month without the influence of gravity. Crowded conditions inside the spacecraft without sufficient personal space can induce mid-space anxiety and Mars-induced panic. Conversely, an insufficient number of crew members might trigger celestial cabin fever and potentially inflict mental and physical decline upon the team. To mitigate these effects, crews on extended space missions have undergone rigorous exercise routines incorporating resistance training. Now, let's shift our focus to the interior of the Starship. What can we expect to see inside this remarkable spacecraft? Although there are no confirmed interior layouts available, we want to explore noteworthy features and potential design configurations that could effectively support a crewed mission to Mars. Firstly, 
we need to consider the size of the Starship. With a volume of 1,000 cubic meters, SpaceX can create an environment for a crew up to 100 people, according to Elon Musk. However, for a mission to Mars, taking anywhere from six to nine months, it's likely that the crew size would be far smaller to reduce the required life support resources and ensure a comfortable level of personal space. Private quarters might be designed like small cabins or berths. These could feature personal storage spaces for personal belongings and scientific equipment, with sleeping areas perhaps resembling the bunk setup seen on the International Space Station. They may also incorporate technology to stimulate circadian rhythms using adjustable lighting, which can help maintain healthy sleep patterns and morale over the duration of the journey. Communal areas would likely be the most Earth-like, with Musk suggesting the inclusion of common areas with amenities like bars and restaurants. These would not only provide a location for meals, but also opportunities for social interaction, important for mental health on long missions. For leisure, the spacecraft might include areas for zero-gravity games, music, and movie screenings, all designed to create a sense of camaraderie and to alleviate the monotony of the long journey. As discussed, given the physical toll of prolonged weightlessness, exercise areas would be vital. Equipment might include innovations such as vacuum-based workout machines to stimulate weight, and harness systems to allow running or resistance training in zero gravity. Scientific and technical spaces would be abundant. Those can include laboratories for conducting experiments, both on the journey and on Mars, and workstations with direct communication links back to Earth, as well as advanced medical facilities to handle any medical emergencies that might arise during the mission. There will be storage for rovers, robots, and other supplies necessary to start the Mars colonization and survival. One more significant aspect of the design would be maximizing window spaces or utilizing screen technology to present the illusion of windows. This would provide crew members with the ability to maintain a connection with the outside universe and observe Mars as they approach. Finally, the overall design of the interior of the Starship would need to be flexible, able to be easily modified or reconfigured for different missions, whether they be scientific expeditions, cargo missions, or even tourism. The modular interior design would allow for efficient use of space and customization according to the mission's needs. The materials used in the construction would likely be both lightweight and durable, able to withstand the wear and tear of daily use over long periods. So. How far away is Mars? The first thing we need to consider is the distance between the two planets. It's important to note that the distance between Earth and Mars is not fixed. It constantly changes as they both journey around the Sun. In theory, the closest encounter between Earth and Mars would occur when Mars is at its nearest point to the Sun, while Earth is at its farthest point. On average, the distance between Earth and Mars is around 140 million miles, 225 million kilometers. In other words, traveling to Mars isn't like hopping on a plane for a cross-country trip. With the power of SpaceX's Starship spacecraft, it's still a substantial journey. When would be the best time to launch a Starship mission to Mars based on this? How SpaceX would want to tackle this changing distance is still unknown, but based on the fact that planets follow unique orbits, there exists a best singular opportunity to dispatch a spacecraft towards Mars. The ideal moment for such a launch is when Earth and Mars are appropriately aligned, with the minimal distance between them, an event that occurs every 26 months. This is the particular time frame astronomers consistently aim to utilize. Picture this, you're strapped in on board SpaceX's Starship, about to embark on a monumental voyage to Mars. As the countdown reaches zero, the motors of the Super Heavy booster blast off with a thunderous roar, taking you and your fellow astronauts into space. G-forces press against your body as the acceleration builds and the world outside your window fades into a blur. The adrenaline rush is indescribable, a mix of awe, excitement, and a touch of nervousness. After the initial burn, the Starship is running low on propellant and must rendezvous with a fuel tanker in space, which then refuels the craft for the long journey ahead. The tanker then heads back to Earth to be used another day. Hours turn into days and days into weeks as Starship hurtles through the void of space. Inside the spacecraft, the crew settles into a daily rhythm, alternating between work and exercise, rest and sleep. Each day brings new challenges and opportunities from conducting experiments to staying physically active in a zero-gravity environment. Months pass, and finally, the day arrives when Starship enters the Martian atmosphere. 
The crew braces themselves as the spacecraft encounters the intense heat of re-entry. The outer surface of the starship glows red hot as it decelerates, utilizing its flaps and thrusters to control the descent. The crew feels the increasing g-forces as they get closer to the surface, their anticipation reaching a peak. Starship touches down gently on the Martian soil, kicking up a cloud of red dust. The crew takes their first steps onto the alien planet, becoming pioneers in a new era of human exploration. They are greeted by the awe-inspiring Martian landscape with its rusty red hues and towering mountains in the distance. As Starship plunges into Mars' atmosphere at a velocity of 7.5 kilometers per second, it will employ aerodynamic deceleration techniques. Although the vehicle's heat shield is engineered to endure multiple entries, the intense heat generated during atmospheric entry may result in some ablation, akin to the gradual erosion experienced by a brake pad. As for when the first Mars landing will happen, Musk has shared speculative time predictions, including 2029. SpaceX's Martian colonization plans represent a visionary leap into the future of space exploration. The ambitious strategy centers on constructing a self-sustaining city on Mars, with the ultimate goal of making life multiplanetary. The plan anticipates sending multiple unmanned starships first, stocked with supplies, infrastructure, and equipment for building habitats, cultivating food, and producing fuel. Only after the necessary groundwork is laid out will the manned mission start, with the objective of making Mars more Earth-like over time. SpaceX's Martian colonization plan is undoubtedly an exciting and daring blueprint for the future of humanity. As we stand at the threshold of a new era, the dream of becoming an interplanetary species is no longer confined to the pages of science fiction. With SpaceX's audacious plans for Martian colonization, we're embarking on a journey that could redefine humanity's future and our place in the cosmos. However, there are numerous questions to be asked, challenges to overcome, and fascinating possibilities on the horizon. What do you think about this grand endeavor? Do you see it as a necessary leap forward, or does it seem like an extravagant dream? Let's imagine, question, and explore these unknown futures together.